Hi, my name is Ashley Fredo, and I'm Courtney Fredo, and we're the owners of the Source Dance Lab. following the whole journey up until um, going to Worlds, which if you follow us, you know Worlds is our, basically like our nationals and the biggest event for us. Filming for that started in 2020, 2019, 2020, and it really got cut off when COVID happened. COVID happened. And I think one of the last episodes was us winning the partial paint bid for the first time ever in SDL history at um, Coastal in Maryland. So in the middle of COVID, our um, old building that we were in wasn't um, up to the standards that we wanted it to be in and we basically had no choice but to move. Also with COVID, um, you know, we're very grateful um, that we've been able to keep our doors open. A lot of our colleagues had to close their businesses after 30 plus years and our little bit studio that was open for like at this point six years, five, five years, we're going into six. Um, you know, we were able to just pivot. Um, it was stressful for Ashley and I, but um, to the families and the kids, they just kind of picked up and moved. So, and we didn't move too far. Like we moved like four minutes like four down minutes the block. block. But moving and restructuring the whole entire building, it, it, it's it's a lot that we already got hit with COVID and then we yeah. had to open up a business basically. Um, coming to this space, it's everything we've ever wanted. It's more conducive to what we do. The ceiling height, it's like, I almost, 20 feet. Yeah. Um, so from like our tumbling, our stunting, our productions, our props, this we never have to go outside into a parking lot or go to a field or rent another gym. Like we can do everything here. Um, so it, it, you know, it works. It works. So the team for the 2022 to 2023 season, there are 13 athletes and one alternate. Here in this team, it's like a whole different like ball game. Um, it's it's fresh. It's young. It's yeah. It feels good. It's passionate. It's um no ego. Nope. Like it's it's just they're good humans and they're you know they have captains, but it's not only the captains leading. Um, and no one, no one's taking things personally. No. Like if someone corrects someone, like everyone's like, oh, thank you so much. Like, I didn't even see that. Like it's, it's really great. And the kids are great. Their parents are great. And I think that's a whole other part to having a successful team, a successful year. The athletes, it's number one getting in there, but it's the, having the parents all get along as well too. Um, so right now, cohesively, it's just. It's great. These kids genuinely want to be here. They genuinely love each other. They genuinely, they want to represent not only themselves, but SBL in the world. world. And it, it feels good for us as the coaches too, uh, to have a team so strong and so passionate. Yeah, it's definitely very important. Strengths are personality, perseverance, determination, teamwork, teamwork, um, just good humans super versatile. Um, they lift each other up when they don't have the strengths that you know one athlete's lacking and the other person does. They applaud and they cheer for each other. And they have personalities. Yeah, yeah. they all have personalities. Which Even the quiet ones have yeah. personalities, which is like it's good. super, super important. It just makes for a really um, enjoyable team because at the end of the day, the awards and trophies are great, but they're just metal. So it's the you know experience and the journey to get there. Negatives, they don't <laughs> shut up. So <laughs> that is probably the worst thing. That's like their biggest weakness, I think, is they oh don't my God. stop talking. Okay. And it's great because they love each other and they love Port and I, uh, but sometimes it takes them like 10 minutes to like reel it back in. So this season's a little bit different. Um, we are now a party of three. Wait, let me see the letters. Make sure it's right, sit. Let me see. Um, 
so it's been exhausting. I am I'm only three, few weeks away from giving birth, um, but honestly, work and the kids and dance keeps my brain really positive and um, occupied, so it was great. So the team for the 2022-2023 season. We had to go into senior small all girl, and if you're from the varsity world, you know that is the hardest division um, to place in senior small. It's ridiculous, like, and ridiculously talented. And you know, people can say what they want, it's cheer dance, it's this, it's that, but like, unless you're there and you're an athlete, you really can't make a comment on what these girls are doing on the stage. And they're doing it where no one's running off the wings, um, everyone's hitting the same scale, and if you don't do it, you don't win. The goal for the season, um, besides obviously making it to the Great Worlds and Globing, is um, to just enjoy the journey and the push through and the process because you can just keep competing and keep testing the training, which is amazing, and the trophies are great, but I think they might be something more than just a trophy. Um, it's not sounding conceited that you get used you just keep winning, it's just a piece of metal and plastic. So what's gonna continue to push you and push your athlete? And so it doesn't feel redundant. Correct, it's yeah. just that inner strength. So that way when they leave dance, um, when they graduate, they can take that something from it through, um, through the rest of their lives. Um, I think people should take away from watching us this season, through all of our teams, the strength and the determination, um, the precision of trying to be, I don't like to use the word perfect, but as um, alike as a team as possible.